What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Life is Strange Before the Storm. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? a truck from uh, the first game I'm pretty sure actually it doesn't look in, uh, too bad Nick to be fair oh, apart from that battery Yep, that looks like it's done. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder. I just got a text message from uh, Mom. See so what she says. Um. Chloe David is trying to do what uh, he thinks is best. Um, he's such a tool. Uh, I didn't like that uh, he asked you to empty your pockets uh, and then you were completely innocent. Um, Chloe, you can't. Uh, Chloe, can't you just forget about David uh, for a second? Uh, think it. Uh, think about me. Uh, Maybe I just need some space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Oh, there's the Guess head. I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Oh, so we're back at the, um... In the scrapyard. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? Beach town. You're a long way from the beach. So that looks fairly in uh, good nick that as well. Got a light bulb. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. <laughs> this thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? That thing looks like very new. It looks like the door just being pulled off. Looks like they slashed the seats though, so they couldn't be reused. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. Hmm. 
What are you trying to hide under their hood? Yep, you need to go pop it there. Pull the latch. Oh. What are you trying to hide under their hood? Accidentally uh, pressed it a little bit too quickly there. Didn't quite get the camera around. There we go. There we go. In nice fresh battery. Car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Hmm. Hopefully she has a screwdriver to take out the bracket and everything what holds the battery in. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Those batteries are actually um quite heavy. They're a lot heavier than they look though, um, batteries. If you guys have ever actually taken a battery out of a car, it's actually, um, it's not light. They've got some, uh, got quite a bit of weight to them. And that always happens to a battery, you always drop it the last, uh, 10 centimeters or so. <laughs> yeah, be careful about that as well. Might get electrocuted. These things hold a lot of charge. Don't touch the red and the black at the same time. I was put on the live first, then the neutral. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Nope. Damn. Sounds like that fuel. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Oh, Rachel sent us a text. Let's see what she says. Um, Chloe Price, I didn't suck. Um, you really didn't. Uh, my mum thinks I do. Um, don't know if you... Uh, yeah, can't read that quick, unfortunately. <laughs> we'll scroll up. I think that's all of them. Right, we'll go back and we'll reread them. Um, my mom thinks I do. Uh, I don't know if I can start going home tonight. Um, still there. Uh, grabbing something uh, from home, then I'll meet you in at the junkyard. Um, see you really soon. You better. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Yeah, with a bit of metal, I would. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Right. Oh. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Ah, we found a light bulb before, didn't we? Uh, is that everything? I think that's everything. It's a light bulb. Something to cover the hole with. Okay. Let's see what else cover. this trash heap has to offer. I've got a bat. Hmm. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. Dad's car. No. Not going over there. Wow. Climb on the boat? It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Light the way, Robo Bulb. Oh, we got a blue bulb from that. Can we climb on the boat? Hmm. 
So she can lift the car battery, but she can't lift herself. Oops. Damn, you cigarettes. Right, looks like we're not getting on the boat anytime soon. Let's see what we can find. Radio we can turn on. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> that could be cool. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Thought it would. I like the pirate flag. Let's see what else we can find. We've got a... Uh, I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Hmm. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Four. Or something. <laughs> that these magazines are so gross who would look at this <laughs> okay I'm still looking but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is <laughs> got some Christmas lights you gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing got a rug this rug has some miles on it. Go see if I can grab that uh, red light from over here, maybe. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for. Wow, I should angry graffiti more often. Hmm. There's nothing I haven't seen in a while. There's uh any graffiti spots. I always oh, wanted I can a pet grab snake. It. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. I guess we're going with whatever color we got. I think it was blue. Would have preferred the red one, but hey ho. Right, let's uh, I think we've got everything we need. Let's fix this with a, uh, I think it was blue light bulb. Let's uh, fix this. That actually doesn't look bad. And let's uh, fix this. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yep, oh, we're getting a phone call. Yeah? Right, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Right. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank?
Uh, everything cool? A burner fawn. Uh, burner fawn? Question mark. After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone, like in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. I'll see you. All right. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Looking good, Robobulb. That bull budget doesn't look too bad. Turn off though. Um. Cab wall graffiti. Yeah, here's a graffiti point. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Um. Let's go this one. The eye sees all. I think I actually remember that being in the back now. Tell me if we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all seeing eye. Let's see what's in this. <laughs> what do we have here? Ah, a beanie. Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Let's take it. Yep. This will do. Honk the horn. Beep beep. <laughs> Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. I guess this is our last option to do, so let's uh, smoke it up. Smoking our nice new fixed up car, I guess. Hate the smell of cigarette smoke though, personally. In my own time, I'm trying An awesome music track again. There's the fire on the horizon there. Well, on the top of the mountain there. It's cool. You were flaunting all your open wounds. I can't express them better than you. You have buried childish qualities from me. Sense of me, friend, make sense. Of she's drifting me. off. I have many destructive qualities from me. Yep. Shit. I slept all day. Wh what the hell? Red Bull gives your wings? <laughs> In this case, I don't think she drank a Red Bull.
Dad? She has some crazy dreams. Fire stick. I wonder if it burned like this the day... the day it happened. Hopefully not. Do I even like marshmallows? I do. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Sure, let's do it. Stick a marshmallow on the stick. That's one way of doing it. I don't think I've ever actually yeah, roasted marshmallows on a fire, ever. I just like marshmallow, uh, marshmallows on their own. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned. Okay, that's not creepy. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Um, of course. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A cool blue light? Holy shit. 
the all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Hmm. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Um, hope, I hope. <laughs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. You don't say. Uh, us are pretty wild. Um, us? Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. <laughs> what were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Okay. Well, Doc. Um... Let's go with fire. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. <laughs> Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone <laughs> in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Uh, let's have a chat about David, I guess. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, <laughs> and now he thinks... He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? This is where we come up with the name. Step douche. He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? <laughs> Why stepladder? Because 
He climbs on your mom every night. Ew! <laughs> and pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That's, that's quite funny. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Uh, so... We talked a lot about the fire, wells, or the truck. Let's go with the truck, it's new. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You're not like him. Uh, I won't let you. Uh, you're not like him. Let's go with that. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Break a leg? Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. She's awesome. <laughs> New home? Hello, Junk Shack. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. So, let's see what Mikey just sent us.
Uh, how'd you got expelled? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I will go like... Uh, get it. <laughs> Seth says you're a nerd. <laughs> so I'm looking the bike. A bag full of clothes. Oh, that's cool. A fresh set of clothes would yes, be nice. Uh, yes, I need nice. those. Let's try some <laughs> things on. Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Um. Bonus outfit, bonus outfit. Um, let's have a look at this. Yep, yeah, let's go with it. Why not? Oh no, hold on. There's the beanie. I'm gonna put the beanie on. Yeah. Let's go with that. I like the beanie. Um, how do I exit? For a reason, it won't let me exit there. There we go. And we've got a text message from Frank. Um, I'm, at the, I'm at the junkyard now. Okay. What's this? Ah, that's cool. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> this elephant fucking rules. Got a sign over here. Wrong way. Wrong way sign. Nice. Nothing else we can do here? Oh, we can graffiti the wall. It's uh... Do a little bit more graffiti in. We haven't done this uh, in a while. Chloe was here. Awesome. <laughs> the cutting edge in junkyard security technology. Hang the dartboard. Sprucing the place up a bit. Nice. Need some darts now. Uh, I think that is about Frank's it. Outside. I should get going if I'm done changing. Alrighty, let's go see Frank. Still got the graffiti on the side of his van as well. The woman we saw with Rachel's No dad. way. Who is this lady? She's got a Weird. butterfly on her arm. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. Ugh. 
I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, yep. get your ass in here. <laughs> Smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that look up? God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things Next for from Frank. Justin. How low can I go? And we're back. You're listening. So what Justin says. Um, dude, I heard that you got expelled. Bad news. Uh, you mean good news. Uh, words. Uh, I'm home too. I finally... Oh, I smell like weed. <laughs> Fight the power. Alright. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Huh. A betting slip? Twelve hundred dollars? Way out of my league. Well, the fire is spreading in an unusual way. Sort of it's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. But not advancing toward it. That's cool, like the one like a road. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Right now we're doing everything we can Who just knew? to keep it contained. Gary. Ugh, gross. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Double luck. Beans. That's an insane amount of beans. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? Work home. Uh, work. Got it. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Even drug dealers need reminders. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. <laughs> I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Part of a balanced breakfast. Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? If you guys want to go ahead and read that, go ahead and pause and do so. Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Except with that Shit. one. The mill burned down. Jeez. Down. That's an expensive dog. This. Yeah, I just had th uh, 3k. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Guess is where we're gonna have to go to find his book. Messy as all hell though. Whoa! Hey there. It's okay, Aww. little guy. Aw oh, shit! Pompadou! Get up here! Aww. 
Pompadil. It really makes me want to get a puppy. Text message from Elliot. Yeah, I, I can't read these things. They, these guys uh, type way too quickly. Ah, right, so where did it go from? Um... Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? Uh, Tempest is uh, going to be awesome. Um, like, awesomely bad, I meant. Uh, it's going to be hilarious. Uh, hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm fine. Yeah, he's, he's trying a bit too hard, to be fair, I think. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Wow, that pillow is definitely dead. <laughs> I think that's uh, what Pomodou's uh, eating there. Anything else we can look at? A throne fit for Frank. Because Frank finally gave up on the steak. The notebook here, but I looked at it. That's look at probably it. the notebook. 2010. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. $175. Time Damn. to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Alrighty, let's go have a chat with them, I guess. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. He's not a poodle. Uh, French for what? Uh, French for what? Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Oh, um, I'm gonna demand the answer. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. It's not like you signed a confidentiality agreement. Damn. You can be less discreet this one That's time. No, I wanted. Nope. I protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. As long as you're selling quality stuff, no one is going to care what you tell me. So. Yeah, I didn't get that. Are you gonna one. tell me who that Christ, was? Christ, do you ever shut up? I'm not telling you anything, okay? Uh, you don't have to be rude about it. Two damn seconds of peace and quiet is all I want. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm good now. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. I really wish I uh, sort of actually did that. I uh, actually managed to win that battle, but... Oh, well. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too important. Um, money from what? Um, how about you? How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? 
No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Uh, go hustle someone in Richer. Don't you have Richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. Well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It no pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, no, we never talk. No, I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Uh, what's in it for me? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay with a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, boy?